Hello and welcome again to Channel 48. My name is Puck and thank you for tuning in. On the 27th of October I showed the very first Android 10 ROM that was created for the Samsung Note 3, my model the 9005, and it was done by Joshua Primero. He created several other ROMs that I as well showed here on my channel. I think the last one was Linux OS because I'm still using that one here, including GAPS installed, uh, Pico GAPS and really minimalistic. And I've been testing all sorts of applications and I must say that I'm very, very happy about this Linux OS that effect is as well Android 10, even though it looks like an iPhone, it's not, uh, it's just Android 10 or it's just Android 10, it is Android 10, and here you can see it, Android 10 version, and yeah, that's just what it is. Okay, I'm very happy about how the applications kind of function, because most of them were not created for Android 10, but they do a good job, so great job there, uh, Joshua. However, um, some hours ago, I think two hours ago, he released a brand new ROM, and that is done under uh, the development of CR Droid. And CR Droid is, uh, yeah, effect bringing out the very first uh, New Year's ROM, 2020 ROM, uh, for the Galaxy Note 3. Uh, my model is the 9005, and uh, it's as well out there for, uh, I think, two or three other models. Here are the code names. Find out what the code name is of your Note 3 so you will recognize the right build to download because, of course, you will have to download the right ROM for your phone. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay? So, that is said. Um, so, what more do, do you need to know? Uh, of course, yeah, you already have Twerp installed. Uh, if you don't have Twerp yet, install Twerp with a tool called Arden. If you're still running the stock ROM on the 9005, you will find out that there is no boot uh, loader lock. So the boot loader is not locked. Um, and you can uh, simply just go ahead and flash twerp. Okay? Flash twerp. And uh, you do that with Arden and a computer with Windows. You put the phone into a download mode. If you don't know all these things, then probably this video is not for you. Okay? But uh, if you want to know how to do these things, I have a video in my list. You know how to upgrade the Note 3 from official to stock, or I mean to custom. Find that video and, and understand the procedure. Okay, so if you have your latest twerp already installed, then you're in fact good to go. So let's get started. Welcome to channel 48. Thank you for tuning in. This is Puck with a new tutorial about Android 10 for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and family. First things first, uh, here you will have to head up to, this is the, the site, the XTA uh, page of this ROM by Joshua Primero. And here you're going to find out that uh, you will be able to read certain stuff about the ROM. Um, and in fact, he created the ROM and here are the various uh, yeah, models. You see that? These are the models that you just saw in your screen as well. I have the above one, the HLTE, that is the 9005. And I think the one is from China, Korea, and maybe Morocco or so. I, I don't know. But these are the models that are supported. So if you have one of them, then you can do this. Okay? Uh, about the ROM, no one issues. Uh, he said... I don't know, so 
<laughs> he don't know. <laughs> he created a rum, but he doesn't know. Uh, he don't know what what works and what is not good and what is not working. So I think that is up to us to find out. Uh, we're gonna boot into a recovery mode, and of course I was very optimistic and probably we will have to reboot again because I forgot to copy the ROM as usual let me see if the MTP works I see a storage there yes the MTP works that is so amazing so let's get the download um, downloads here it is see Android 10 copy 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 and then we're gonna put it here paste to the phone the ROM is 448 megabytes as you can see we're copying with 27 megabyte per second to the phone oh look at that that was so beautiful don't you love GNU GNU is so amazing so um yeah um what should we do? I will do a normal wipe like this. It's fine, you know, just wipe. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and install. Uh, depending on what, what kind of ROM you were on, yeah, probably you will have to wipe advance and then dial fix system data catch, okay? So maybe you should, maybe we should do that. Let, let's do that. Because I had gaps installed and you don't know if that was gonna, you know, interfere. So uh, I copied it to the internal of the of the of the uh, of the phone, and here you can see it. You see that? See Android Android 10 created on the third of the first January 2020. So this is my first 2020 ROM that I'm showing peeps. So yeah, leave a thumbs up for this video if you like whatever I'm showing. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and select the ROM and there we go, Madame and Monsieur, see Android 6.1, Yawal, created yesterday at one minute past three in the afternoon. Or maybe it was at midnight, UTC. Not sure what UTC is. Um, and device Lineage HLTE, manufactures Samsung. Security patch is December 5th, 2019. Okay, Android version 10 and ROM version 6.1. And then I booted into recovery again and installed gaps after that the system did not want to boot anymore it kept rebooting into the samsung logo so to make a long story a bit shorter i'm gonna tell you what you should not do okay so after we flashed the rom we can go ahead and boot back into a recovery a flash magisk magisk 20 it will work okay so we're gonna skip to that part and then we're gonna take a look at the room at the boot up and what you can expect whenever you're gonna install it so i could not find a good gaps package yet for the system let's continue the video So um, I'm just going to go home and reboot once again into recovery. There's one more thing that we need to test. And that is root. Many be, will be like, is root working? Root installed fine, but we could not boot the system then anymore. So let's just first install root. Shall we do that? Just to, to see, this is Magis 20.1.
it should support Android 10. It said done. So let's reboot and see if we get back into a fallback. If it reboots fine, we're gonna kick out the battery. Damn it. This room is so vulnerable. It also don't want to get rooted. So root is not available yet. But I find it sad about the gaps package. And the gaps package uh, as well does not work uh, after the first reboot. Hey, it's working. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, this is booting. This is booting. This is good. Okay, we remove the battery again. Okay, we're gonna not waste too much time. This video is getting way too long, man. And then we go back into recovery. Okay, because now I want to flash my mod. Install. Um, this one is good. Reboot. It should my mod my mod should not harm the boot animation. This should boot straight up. There we go. You see that? So we flash my GISC and my mod. And there we are. Very nice. See a droid. Beautiful. Exchange your screen updated. Choose what to allow. No, I don't want anyway. Deny. I don't know what this is, you know. Next. I don't use exchange. Next. 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 Hold on. Next, start. So there we go. Boot it up. And Magisk is installed. None of my apps were installed. So my mods are not working. I will have to install each and every app one by one. And here you can find out that super user is installed. So we have root as well. So we have root. And we as well... Uh, yeah, we only have a root. So GAPS is not uh, available yet. Maybe I need another version of GAPS. Uh, I did not find the link yet for the GAPS. But GAPS is not really available yet in my uh, directory. The files that I have here are not working. Uh, you need the ARM32. ARM, ARM, ARM um gaps for android 10 so we'll have to see if we can find some some gaps in some other video but this is it beautiful rom and i'm very happy to receive it and yeah i'm gonna put the screen on dark let's see style there boom you can change the style dark theme you can turn that on 
deep gray corso black and amulet black oh beautiful look at that man look at that peeps beautiful very nice camera we can make a picture we can make a video selfie cam working yes selfie cam is working that's saying one two three four five book in the house you know how it goes about the phone it's phone working phone works fine so that's uh, really nice i'm very happy with uh, this room so mr primero muchas gracias thank you very much uh yeah now i'm gonna take a look at uh rooms for the other phones the samsung s3 neo is doing really great on the android 10 that it got as well and uh yeah the s8 yeah some uh, seem to fill with the travel project i i really don't know what you're doing wrong guys uh, one thing I advise you just watch my video step by step and you know just watch it from the beginning until the end and then you're gonna understand how whatever I did and then you know you might be able to do it yourself as well for now I'm happy with this room if you will find uh, some working gaps for this room uh, please leave a link uh, just let me know that you posted the link and then I will, you know, because the links are coming into some spam folder and then, you know, I must approve it. So if you have a, a good link for this room, if you tested it, you know, don't just say uh, use that, you know, test it first. If you have the Note 3 and this room, you know, and you have a working gaps, then let us know about that version of gaps link it up so we as well can go ahead and install it i want to thank you for watching uh, if you like this video leave some love so i wish you all a fantastic weekend go ahead and upgrade your beautiful note 3 it's really worth it and it's still a very beautiful phone congratulations if you as well did it